and good morning welcome back to the channel welcome back to the vlog it is another beautiful day here in manhattan i have to watch out i'm not going to step off the ledge here and fall into the east river but today is july 4th and to all of my american followers out there happy independence day happy july 4th the wifey is currently at work she has to work until 3 p.m today unfortunately so i had the morning off to basically do whatever i want so i decided to get a little exercise and take a little journey you know somewhere i haven't been yet so that's why i'm on the opposite side of manhattan this is manhattan over here i guess technically this is manhattan but that's manhattan over there that's the upper east side spanish harlem and this is the bridge i came across to get there Not a bad view over here, I must say. Kicking it back on the water. Beautiful, beautiful day. It's like 70 degrees here right now. The wind is blowing nicely. I can't think of a better morning to spend July 4th. I think a lot of you all see that I talk about a lot of the positive things about New York City, and trust me, there are plenty of negative things about living here. It's a very difficult city to live in, but at the same time, it's a very easy city to live in. You just have to kind of get used to it. But if you want me to do a video on the negative sides of Manhattan, I would love to because there are plenty. But on days like this, I just love it. So, you know, I had to take a little journey on my good old fashioned city bike this morning. I just wanted to get some exercise and see something new. So I am on Randall's Island, which is across the East River from Manhattan. I rode my bike all the way up the East River, all the way to this bridge right here. This is the Wilds, Wilds Bridge, Wilds, I can't remember the name of it. It's like a walking bridge and bike path only. It's uphill one way and it was quite exhausting getting up it, but it's downhill the other way. And I came onto this island that I'm currently standing on. So it's a beautiful view. You just get a nice view of Manhattan from a different vantage point, which, you know, you're not used to seeing Manhattan from this side. So anyways, so I'm going to continue to bike around here, explore a little bit, go back home, across the bridge again, and wait for Andriana to get off work. We are going to Queens later today. We are going to do a nice July 4th barbecue with the family, as per usual. And you know, in cliche fashion, maybe I'll show you some firework montage to celebrate July 4th like everybody else does. So, all right, happy July 4th. We'll see you later. present in the mail. Super excited about this one. It was shipped from who knows where, but it is from a company called IQNIX, I-Q-U-N-I-X. Almost cut myself. Ooh. Look at this. Look at that packaging. I'm a sucker for packaging. This is what's up. So beautiful. Oh my gosh, so beautiful. So as you guys know, I'm doing a desk setup and I keep getting all this stuff in the mail. And this is my brand new iQnix F96 keyboard mechanical keyboard this thing is beautiful if you didn't hear on one of my prior videos i'm doing a very modern sleek white on white approach to my desk setup and this goes perfectly and <sighs> this sounds so good listen to this hold on This is what it's all about. You get the nice tactile feel with a little bit of sound, but not too much to annoy everybody around you. This thing is so sleek. 
Thank you, IQNX. This thing is awesome. And it is now Sunday, July 5th. Yesterday was July 4th. It's Sunday at like 9 p.m. And we ate a lot for dinner again. And I ate so much this weekend, we decided to go for a little bike ride in Central Park with this one. And look how many people are out. It's like 9 p.m. on Sunday, Central Park. And you would think it's like Saturday at 10 a.m. Crazy. I love it though. Everybody's active, enjoying the beautiful day. And this is what I missed about being in New York City, just because people get out and do things. But anyways, tomorrow I start back at work and I'll catch you all in the morning. beautiful morning it's about 6 30 a.m heading into the hospital it's a little warm today but still hanging in there not sweating too bad just yet um, but today is monday it's my first day of a whole full week of ir so the way we do it is we have each fellow is in a room and only that room for the whole day so in any case that is scheduled in that room or that's added on in that room, you have to do. You take responsibility of, which I kind of like. I'm used to kind of bouncing in between rooms and stuff. So it's nice just to have one room and take care of all the cases in that one. But I'm off, had to present a case this morning and I'll let you guys know if I come across any cool cases and I'll see what I can show you without breaking HIPAA. Obviously. And what is going on everybody? Just finished a long, almost like 12 hour day. And now it's pouring down rain, which is awesome. I think it's supposed to rain like the next couple of weeks. Or not a couple of weeks, a couple of days. So that's pretty exciting. Did some cool cases today. Um, still on the vascular surgery side of things. It seems to be a common thread. I was on vascular surgery before I came up to New York City, and then now I started off my first case on back of the surgery as well. And my nose is all red from the N95 I was wearing today. But anyways, let's see if I can go over some of the cases, or maybe not the cases, but a similar case right now. All right, so it's super late and I'm currently tired right now, but uh, basically we had a patient who had uh, chronic venous insufficiency and chronic lower extremity swelling. Uh, we ended up placing a stent just like this. And for those of you who don't know what a stent looks like, we basically put something, uh, basically a long sheath or catheter inside the um, actual vein. In this case, is the common iliac vein. And then we slowly expand this metal uh, nitinol stent. It kind of keeps the walls open. So this is actually a pretty good example, as you see, so this is a super tight stenosis uh, or focal narrowing of the iliac vein. And you'd see why once we cross that area, we can put a stent through it and open it up so that it is the same size as the adjacent vessel, which allows blood to flow through. As you can imagine, blood has a difficult time flowing through this narrowed area. So you have to widen it and allow blood to flow through it. I hope you all can see this here because we also do something called intravascular ultrasound or IVIS when we actually put a IVIS catheter up through the vein so you can see how this is the catheter right here the IVIS catheter and this is the vessel and then as you go up through the area of stenosis right corresponding to this level you see how tight it is there's not that much black space or vessel super tight on the catheter and then distally as well there's some open area so we got to go in and open that up, place a stent so it stays open. All right guys, just finished another day of vascular surgery, but that officially concludes this vlog. So make sure you smash that like and subscribe button, follow me on Instagram if you don't already. Otherwise, I'll see you all on the next video.